I have been doing this series for a while now. And while I know there's still plenty I can do with Skyrim, I will be very happy to finally finish the main quest. And that, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else, is our goal for today. It feels like we're getting close to it, like we're heading towards the final confrontation, but I really wasn't sure about it. I just could not say 100%, but I can say that I was going to try my very, very best to get this. I guess we've got to start by trusting a dragon, huh? He told us he'll take us to Alduin, or at least the closest he can get us. And, uh, well, he took us somewhere. These ruins seem quite... I don't know, they seem a bit um, dragon like a bit small for a dragon, but uh, then we have to fight the drow, 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 dro the zombies, uh, and also a fucking dragon. Are you kidding me? Okay, so it's not really much of a surprise that um, I've become barbecue food, is it? <laughs> I was not expecting a dragon. Although, to be honest, considering what a big part of this game dragons have been, and not to mention this main quest that there is, it's not a huge surprise there's dragon here. Okay, we'll handle this more intelligently next time. Firstly, we'll save when we arrive, obviously there's no reasons why, and then equip our bow and use them to take out the drow zombies. Then we'll move forward just enough to trigger, trigger, trigger the dragon. <laughs> when he comes down, we'll go after him with a fancy health draining axe we have. And can I remember something? I have Dragon Bane, the sword actually designed for killing dragons never used it before but now is a good time to try it out and my god did it make it so much easier. With that dragon dead I go over the bridge and continue progression and there's a lot of people here huh. Not only that but I haven't got Lydia so I've got no help at all. I find I start using my vampire abilities more. You can just call me Edwin Cullen. Uh, okay no please 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 don't. Um, but in all seriousness, though, the ability is actually very helpful because I can just drain health and heal while killing them. Oh, and then I also casually kill another dragon because at this point I goddamn can. There's a lot of slow progress here though, and I'm not going to talk you through all of it because, well, there's a lot. There's probably about half an hour's worth here that I'm cutting because it's a lot of the same. It, it's me getting one or two enemies, leading them back and killing them before slowly progressing forward finding a few more, leading him back, killing him, and just repeating that cycle again and again. The only thing you really need to know is that I got into the main building, went in, and there's more of them. Guess the cycle's not broken yet. Nevertheless, I kept pushing forward and kept killing more and more undead enemies, continuing until we finally got to a puzzle. It's a nice easy one to solve. Just three little pillars that need to be turned to it showing the right animals, and boom, we're through. Pushing through continues in much the same as always, although we do get some variety of enemies in the fact we also have to kill spiders, which are easier than the zombies, so win. The next puzzle is, well, basically the exact same as the previous one, but with one very important and very annoying difference. When you get it wrong, you get shot with arrows. <laughs> I screwed up a few times, but eventually we got it and we kept pushing forward. We finally got to a mini boss, or at least I thought it was. It's the Draugr, I'm guessing that's how you say it, Overlord, and he's really not much harder than the rest of the enemies. We beat the crap out of him first try, and we steal his Diamond Claw. Okay, this now makes sense. Another one of those claw puzzles. We did one of these at the very start of the game. It's getting the right symbols, sticking the claw in, turning, and, and seeing what happens. And boom, we got through. Heading through gave us a new world of power, which I didn't expect, but I'll take. And then we head through the door and back outside. We needed, well, we need to get to the roof of this, and now we're basically there. It takes us a little bit to kill the enemies up here, but we do. And we see the stairs, and what we think is the teleporter that takes us to the afterlife. This is where Alduin is supposed to be uh, harvesting souls and, well, essentially waiting for us. I was a bit alarmed to see a dragon here, but he just seems to be watching us. However, there is a boss, some kind of summon and also some kind of dead sorcerer. I'm guessing the sorcerer is the boss. I have no idea what these are, but it's difficult. And then it gets surprisingly easy. After a few attempts of getting my ass kicked, suddenly the summon is just gone. And the dead sorcerer is just floating around doing nothing. Well look, I'm perfectly good at beating up somebody who isn't doing anything. Quite easily that we do. We beat the corpse up, down, and we steal his mask because we're thieves, and his staff, his dragon priest staff. 
we actually needed that because that opened the portal to the afterlife and here we are in the world of the dead sovereign guard is the name of this admittedly beautiful plane and i could spend ages looking around but we have a job to do with a dragon to kill immediately we hit a problem with the mist and we warn away from it but we must go through we get through and we get to a bridge that will lead us to the hall of heroes but we must prove our worth against the muscled moron. This will be easy. No, he killed us. This is happening a lot at this point now, huh? Oh well, we have to beat him and we will beat him by bug abuse. He got stuck. I wasn't trying to get him stuck, but he got stuck. So I just riddled him with arrows. And he eventually yields and lets us throw. And I must say, looking at the inside of this wonderful hall of heroes, I never thought I'd say this, but it looks like death ain't half bad. There's a few heroes here happy to help us defeat Alduin, so now it's time. It's time to get the dragon. Well, first it's time to use our shout to get rid of him. And then it's time to get Alduin. And it isn't much of a surprise that he manages to kill me, does it? But the final boss of the game gets me. More than once. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> However, I did find it easier than before. Probably courtesy of that Dragonbane blade I managed to get. And actually happened. Alduin is defeated. And he has to die in the most dramatic, over-the-top way possible. Because of course he does. But I don't care if he wants to throw in a side dish of drama with his death. Because all that's important is that this bastard is finally dead. And that's it. We're done. We head back to our dragon friend to find he, they can control them. C considering our friend isn't a maniac desperate for control and destruction, I'd say an improvement. I'm very happy to kill him. We've also gained the ability to summon a dragon if we need any help, which, let's be honest, an ally dragon in a fight? Yes, fucking please. I head back to the dragon's reach to pick up Lydia. <laughs> but yeah, we're done. So now what? Well, this isn't really a standard game. We may have the main quest done, but there's still so much more we can do with this game. With this done though, I think I am going to move on to a new game and a new series. But, this won't be the end of the Skyrim episodes on this channel. I will not be doing them regularly now, but I will pop back from time to time, explore some of the side quests, the DLC, just some of the other great stuff there is to see on this game, because there is so much more to do than what we've done. We may be moving on now, but we will return someday. We will come back. Thank you for watching, especially if you've seen the whole series, and I'll see you in Vice City. It was you who convinced the Yarl to trap the dragon in the key, and by easement.